Alrighty, hi everyone, this is Aionic, and I'm going to be talking about uh, swarm kiting here in Lake of Illomen. And this is a zone you can come in probably as soon as you get Denon's, actually at level 18, because most of the mobs are low 20s, low to mid 20s. So this is a great spot for your level 20 regions, if you don't want to say do the over there. And um, it's actually, I'd say, more convenient because it's closer to Fronia Vi. So much easier to sell and bank. And there's, yeah, heck, there's even merchants here in the zone, so you can just do that. So I'll show how it's done. I spent so much time in the zone, it's unbelievable. Alrighty. So again, be polite, call out what you're doing. And let's get going. So you can pull skeletons, you can pull goblins, just be careful of the casters, the soothsayers. Don't pull the saber tooths because they run too fast. You can pull the Ixars. Um all of them are pretty much fair game. You can start out here. Start pulling them around here. Get all these skeletons. Looks like some people are farming for the uh, Gasuki rings. Yeah, it looks like an enchanter. It's so useful. But man, I hated doing it. Normally, I think the average was it takes about like 25 courier spawns, and so you're just there for hours and hours. So nice, I don't have to be in the zone anymore for that. Careful with the Sarnax, because there's also some caster versions of them in the zone. <laughs> you can look with the lag, yeah. 101 ping, yeah, it should be okay. But yeah, you can pull plenty from out here. Um, this is where we're actually going to be doing the swarm. It's this place is perfect. It's made. The the size around this uh, windmill or whatever, absolutely perfect for the swarm kiting. Great place to learn. So we're going to be going, pulling from here, falling around, and then coming back to the windmill. Um, so they go to the windmill, keep them with us, and one of the spots, let's see which way am I going, I am going towards the west, yeah, so I'm running this way right now, towards the Sarnak fort. And there's a bunch of skeletons here. They might be too high level for you. But what's nice is one little direct damage and all of them pretty much get pulled when you're in the appropriate level range. You can pull all that. And then you kind of want to go down this chasm here and just keep pulling them. Little valley. I'm going to let these things leash. I don't really mind. I don't want this to be a super long video. So yeah, you'll pull any mobs that are in this chasm. Sometimes it's a little bit bereft of mobs. So you can kind of check the other side of the mountain. Yeah, there's one. Yeah, I don't really see him a whole lot. Um, pull those Ixars, those are fine. Be very careful with this little fort area if you do have goblins coming with you, because casters, they will wreck your day. They'll root you and kill you and you're done. Keep going through. That's why I really strongly recommend just don't even pull any goblins here. 
that will cause a lot of trouble. Just the Ixars, the Skeletons. Sarnax are even an issue because they'll aggro with the Goblins. They're on opposite uh, faction tables. So you may accidentally pull Goblins by pulling the Sarnax. So then I pull a bunch of mobs over here too, right next to the Sarnak fort. And then I would essentially start to make my way back, right back to the windmill. Oh, that's not food. Water read. So I'll do a little pull and it will kite around the uh, windmill and you can kind of see how it's done. Alright, so, one thing I do before I start this is, there, um, when you're all done killing, you can sell to this guy, Nubs Black Granite, and make some money off of it. But let's pull a couple, you know, let's pull those skeletons over here, and then we'll kite them around. There's one. Yeah, I don't want to damage them too much. Just want them all to aggro me. Perfect. thing about bards is um, you can actually cast on the run. Don't forget that. I mean, look. <laughs> you can cast your even your clickies on the run. Yeah, I prefer the Ix, uh, Dark Elf just because you can see better. bunch these guys up there we go uh, a little bit more should be right on top of each other Kind of the tighter you go, the faster they're supposed to bunch up. I'll live with that. <laughs> Alright, let's get this started. Up J-Boots, click off Silos. Start this. 
Ghost Wraith, and let's get the hunt started. Careful of this rock. Hit it, you'll crouch. Kind of just want to follow the, uh, the, uh, windmill itself. Be careful not to go too far up, because you might AoE and hit the merchant, and that, you can see one of them, the dark green, I mean, a light green. He's actually with, I could get EXP from him, and I'm 58, and Professor Akaba right next to him. I'm not getting tight enough actually. Gotta go a little tighter. Get. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go quite tight. There we go. Because I wasn't landing any dots on. But this was when I was manually t uh, turning. This isn't when I, I use the auto strafe technique. Denons, it looks like. But let me actually do this the right way. There we go. That's a perfect distance. I want to see them right in that corner of the screen. That is how you swarm kite here. Pretty simple. And quick run back. So thank you guys all for watching the video. Sayonic. I will see you in the